Hi there, everyone. I am so excited for this episode. Do you love volcanoes? I got something cool for us to open. I just received the Build Your Own Volcano STEM Kit from National Geographic. And today we are going to unbox it. But not from my lab. We are going to film it at some place much hotter. We will be traveling and shooting on location. Using my new invention, the Traveling Lab Bench. We can travel anywhere in the world with a click of a button. All right, we stuck the landing. Oh wow, look at this place. That is one angry looking volcano. It will be a perfect backdrop for the Build Your Volcano STEM kit. But we will have to unbox this quickly before we get vaporized. So we better get moving quickly. Super genius. Okay, who is ready to see what's inside the Build Your Own Volcano set? First, let's unearth the plastic vessel that shall serve as the mold for our majestic volcano. Oh, the anticipation. What else do we have in here? Ah, yes, the volcano plaster. When mixed with water, transforms into a malleable substance akin to a volcanic-like surface. Next in the box is the eruption powder, that mystical catalyst of chaos and wonder. When mixed with dish soap, it unleashes a tumultuous reaction that mimics the fiery fury of a true volcanic eruption. Now let's turn our attention to the paintbrush and paint. We can paint our volcano and make it as realistic looking as possible. Let's see what else is in the box. It's real pumice and a geode specimen. Permice is a type of volcanic rock that forms during explosive volcanic eruptions. It's created when frothy lava cools rapidly and traps gas bubbles within its structure, resulting in a lightweight and porous material. Geodes are geological formations that form within sedimentary or volcanic rocks. They begin as hollow cavities or bubbles within the rock, which may be filled with mineral-rich fluids over time. As these fluids slowly evaporate or precipitate minerals, they form crystals within the cavity. What's so cool about this is that through all this natural process, we have it in our very own hands. Super neat. All these materials will be used in our STEM kit science experiment. So what are we waiting for? Let's create our very own volcano eruption. Step one, we need to arrange the three volcano mold walls. Step two, we need to stretch the rubber band around the exterior of the mold around the top lip. This will make sure the mold is securely in place. Step three, we need to pour the entire volcano plaster in a container. Just make sure it's large enough for the entire bag. Add one cup or 250 milliliters of water into another disposable container. I am going to use this lovely pail I use to make sandcastles with. Make sure you add the plaster slowly while stirring. Once it's thick enough but pourable, wait one minute before adding it to the mold. Once the plaster is mixed and ready, pour it in. Make sure you scrape off any mold you have left behind. Step 7. Let it sit out for 30 to 45 minutes. While you wait, you can check out other videos on my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is like a roller coaster of quirky adventures, but instead of loops, we've got STEM kits and mind bending learning experiences. Trust me, it's more exhilarating than trying to teach a goldfish calculus. Make sure you like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. We promise it'll be the best decision you've made since deciding to wear socks with sandals. All right, let's get back to our volcano. Once the plaster has dried, remove it from the plastic mold. It is recommended we put it in an oven for one to two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius. After one to two hours and it has cooled down, your volcano plaster is ready to paint. Let's paint the mountain brown and the lava red and yellow. There we go, we have our volcano. Now let's make our volcano erupt. Step 11. Let's add our eruption powder. 
This right here is the concoction behind the explosive magic. I mixed it with a little dish soap for an extra kick. All right, who is ready for the grand finale? Wow, a thing of beauty. We did it. Hooray. In this episode, we embarked on a thrilling journey to the heart of a volcano, capturing every moment as we transformed mere materials into a volcanic spectacle that erupted with laughter and learning. I don't care what they say, volcanoes are beautiful. Okay, I take that back. Volcanoes are very dangerous. This was a terrible idea. Oh no, we have to leave. Blast! Let's try not to panic. Everyone run for your lives! Oh wait, I just remembered. I forgot to start the engine. It's a miracle. We are back in my lab in one piece. There is a giant hole in the ceiling, but don't worry. I have good insurance on this place. And for those eager adventurers ready to embark on their own STEM journey, you can order your very own Build Your Own Volcano Kit at thinkstretch.com. I've conveniently placed the link in both the description and comment section below. Well, it looks like I need to fix the roof. Does anyone know a good general contractor?